Some parents call it a miracle drug, the only thing that's helped stop their children from suffering from seizures. We're talking about medical marijuana, and on Tuesday, it will be legal. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska has more on what you need to know and also witness firsthand why parents fought so hard to legalize it. This is actually pretty awesome because he will he never oh, really? gets in front of the camera. Without medical cannabis, Renee Petro says her son Brandon would not be doing this well, laughing, happy, at times seizure free. Petro says it's helping him live a normal life. He's really happy. But it's not a cure. What? He's What's going on? It's gonna come. Yeah, it's actually coming. Something we witnessed firsthand. He's not gonna make it to the sofa. Okay, get him down. Brandon went into a full seizure. Petro ran and grabbed a cannabis nasal spray. <laughs> Something she calls a miracle rescue inhaler for Brandon's most severe episodes. Come on. There you go. There you go. In less than a minute, relief. It's okay. Brandon able to walk to the couch and rest for a little bit. So without that, um... His seizure would last probably for another 30, 45 seconds, and it would be a lot more intense. Before the nasal spray, Petro says she just have to write out the seizure. We're not going to go into another one. With medical cannabis, those episodes are getting less and less each day. He just recently went 30 days without a seizure. The aggression, the rage, um, suicidal thoughts, the insomnia has virtually went away just by weaning him off of some of these drugs. But because medical marijuana passed, Petro says all the pain and suffering was worth it. Brandon's now on only one pharmaceutical. And with advances in medical cannabis, Petro says this miracle nasal spray should be available in Florida later this year. It's just the beginning to help thousands of families across Florida. Hope that there's something that has virtually no side effects that could stop or reduce the severity and the duration of a seizure. Now, once a doctor approves you for medical marijuana, there's a 90-day waiting period. Petro says that people should get in and see a doctor immediately because as the legislative session kicks off, those rules could change. And she says if you do need medical marijuana, you might have to wait even longer depending on what they decide. In Tampa tonight, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.